I'm Yusuf Haddad, and this is my opinion on how Iran destroyed the Middle East. Here are five places the Iranian regime has destroyed. Throughout the Middle East, nations are in turmoil. The last decade has seen devastating wars and human rights atrocities. But there is one regime which has disproportionately impacted other nations, for the worse. And no, it's not Israel, although they like you to believe it is. It's the Islamic Republic of Iran. Since the Islamic Revolution in 1979, the regime in Iran has been notorious for their extremism and support of terrorists. They chant death to Israel, deny the Holocaust, and even have a countdown to Israel's destruction in the center of Tehran. But their desire for bloodshed isn't just against Israel. They are responsible for the death of more Arab Muslims in the Middle East than any other organization or country. And they've exported their terrorist antics, bringing chaos and misery everywhere they go. So let's start with Gaza and the West Bank. Iranian relations with Palestinians go way back. Yasser Arafat himself was an honored guest of the Ayatollah in the aftermath of the revolution in 1979. Since then, the Iranian regime has been helping Palestinian terrorists, including with weapons, funding, and training. Palestinian Islamic Jihad has received $60 million annually and Hamas up to $70 million annually for their terrorist activities. The result? Continued division and violence in the Palestinian society, unemployment in Gaza at 46%, rejection of peace with Israel, multiple wars. And a Palestinian society that's been hijacked in the West Bank and Gaza by terrorists taking directions from Iran and endangering civilians, even storing weapon caches inside mosques as we saw in Jenin. In Yemen, the Iranian regime's proxy is the Houthis, whose slogan is literally, death to America, death to Israel, curse the Jews. The regime's interference has led to a humanitarian crisis and widespread famine due to the civil war they launched. Over 377,000 Yemenites dead, and 74% of the population is in dire need of food and health care. In Syria, the Iranian regime has contributed to the decimation of the Syrian people and is using Syria as a military base to support terror groups that harm Syrians and Israelis. The Iranian regime has also supported Syrian President Assad, who has chemically gassed his own citizens repeatedly. The result? Over half a million casualties, 12 million displaced Syrians, and an unstable war-torn nation. But the Iranian regime isn't done. In Lebanon, they've decimated the entire country, having used it for decades as a harbor and training base for terrorist groups, including the PLO, Hamas, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and others. They established Hezbollah, a terror group, which was the primary instigator of the Lebanese civil war, the first and the second Lebanon wars with Israel. Countless Lebanese have been killed as a result of the Iranian regime, and it's still ongoing. I myself fought against Hezbollah and witnessed how Lebanese civilians begged for Israel to liberate them from the Iranian regime's proxy. Hezbollah's interference in the government has prevented a stable leadership for decades, with the terror group engaging in assassinations and blackmail. They have turned Lebanon into a military base, storing weapons in civilian areas, including near the Beirut airport. What? And their activity contributed to the Beirut blast, in which a factory packed with ammonium nitrate exploded, killing 218 and injuring over 7,000 people. Thanks to the Iranian regime, Lebanon is a failed state with a devastated economy and regular violence. Sadly, this story wouldn't be complete without noting how the Islamic Republic of Iran has destroyed their own country. While Iran enjoyed an advanced society that contributed greatly to the world prior to 1979, the Islamic Revolution saw a reversal of the thriving Iran and turned into a dictatorship. For 44 years, the Iranian regime has subjected their people to brutal draconian laws, in particular gender apartheid laws, in which they arrest and beat women for removing hijab. They have spent decades blaming Israel for their own failure indoctrinating children with radical hatred of Israel with mandatory rallies where they burn Israeli flags and schools where they paint Israeli flags on the ground to teach children to stomp on them. Instead of investing inside Iran, the regime spends its resources on terrorism. While major cities like Tehran and Tabriz don't even have proper access to water due to mismanagement. The Iranian regime also leads the world in executions. 
with over 400 being executed just this year, many for their crime of protesting. Even when faced with sanctions, the regime has always put their radical ideology ahead of the well-being of their own people. These are only five places the Iranian regime has decimated. Now imagine if they had a nuclear weapon. It would be almost impossible for this regime to fall. The people of Iran and all the people of the Middle East deserve more than a future filled with bloodshed and violence as a result of the Iranian regime's malignant influence. Every person, regardless of their ethnicity or religion, has a reason to take a stand against the Iranian regime.